All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome uh, to this joint recording. Uh, I'm with Rafal Gendas uh, in Berlin, Germany, and we are in this uh, beautiful place, uh, Hotel New Dwarf in Schöneberg. And uh, I just messaged him that coming to Berlin. And, Babajit uh, is coming to Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just uh, very kindly gave uh, this time for meeting, and then we met and we had amazing discussion. And uh, please uh, see the see the video. Uh, there are so many topics. Arudha Lagna, Nakshatra, Stithis, yes. Arudha, Arudha, yes. Raja Yoga, Raja Yoga, so many. It's like yeah. we had a very amazing discussion. So please uh, relish the discussion. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and if you want to uh, be notified about similar videos, always remember to like, subscribe the video, and uh, you will see very nice discussion and. Feel free to comment if you have any questions or if you like some special segment of this discussion, let us know. Yeah, if you want us to make some similar recordings on specific topics in the future, you can write it down in the comments and I will pin his YouTube channel and his Instagram page uh, in the description section. Please go I will also pin Babajit channel <laughs> in my YouTube. Yeah. yeah, his Instagram channel is amazing and today he gave a very wonderful post on Titi. So whoever uh, is in Instagram, please go and check out his post. I hope you really like it and I'm pretty sure you will. Right? Thank you very much. Yeah, let's go to the video. <laughs> is there any way in which you are analyzing the Titi's? As today I was making a post. Okay. about the titis yeah? and ah, in our rikta tradition titis. Rikta yes. Titis. Rikta titis, yes. Ah. and in our tradition it is important because we are always starting uh, our analysis of the chart with the panchanga correct we are always doing the vara yeah, titi yeah. nakshatra yeah? so how is how is your approach to this is it important for you to see the weekday lord the titi is yeah, it something yeah, important yeah, always. or how, how you analyze the titi? What is the uh, or, or vara? Is there something or panchanga or nakshatra? What is your way? Nakshatra is very 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 crucial because you know, nakshatra is uh, that which tells you what the mind is going through, and nakshatra is something which tells you what's the story actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and once you know the nakshatra, you know what kind of story it will be so for example why only charts like when you are doing prashna chart or even without any prashna it's like you take any random day you see the story of the nakshatra you will always see it is playing out like all the time and, and what you mean by story uh, story means like if you go and read the story about that particular nakshatra mm -hmm. what are the uh, who are the characters associated with it uh -huh. Like for example, um, like recently I had an experience, uh, Moon was in Rohini some time back and if you go to the story of Rohini Nakshatra, you will find that uh, Lord, it's very much related to Lord Krishna Yes. and he was once uh, like falsely accused by Shatranjit of you know, stealing the Shyamantak jewel. Yes. And it's a long story, of course, but then later on he came out victorious. Uh, all the allegations were like dismissed because he came out with the Shamantak money. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's an example. So there was a person whose chart I was looking and he had this nakshatra, uh, a particular planet. Uh, the eighth lord was in Rohini nakshatra. Aha, so you are not taking only the moon, but all the planets. For yes, example, here course. the eight lord yeah. was in the nakshatra of Rohini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was thinking that Rohini nakshatra has to do with so many things, right? Just the nakshatra. It's, like yes. it's related to Lord Krishna, it's related to the color red. Yes. It's related to beauty, love, romance, creativity. It's related to Lord Brahma. Yes, yes. very much. The it's Devata. Related, Devata. Yes, mm -hmm. it's related to agriculture, right? Taurus related, from Taurus. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. related to uh, holding, holding and holding of assets and wealth. But then how will you know which aspect of Rohini is getting activated for this person? Very, very hard question and very, yeah. very interesting one. Yeah. Yeah. So then I saw 
this person's eighth lord was in Rohini Nakshatra and his Dasha got activated. So he had faced something similar okay, that he was accused and then he told me that I had no fault in this and his eighth lord was in the fifth house. So it's uh -huh. But naturally, it will be something to do with uh, females or the opposite sex because ah, like uh, romance, fifth house as a romance. Yeah, mm -hmm. so there was some uh, some kind of scandal which he went inside, you know, for so like with one particular lady. But then uh, I saw that uh, this fifth lord, uh, this eighth lord, which was in the fifth house, this was like uh, aspected by Jupiter, and you know the. 10th house was really strong, 6th lord was really strong and ascendant was really strong. So his desire to come out of the scandal is like very very strong. Exactly. What was the Lagna once more time? Uh, the Lagna of that person. Ascendant, yes. Yeah, it was uh, Gemini Lagna. Gemini Lagna. So yes. Saturn was in Libra in the 5th house. Yes, Gemini. Mm -hmm. So then uh, I, 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 uh, I asked him about that scandal which he had <laughs> and then he told me that yes by his sheer efforts and his strength he came out like even in case of Lord Krishna he had a fight with Jambavan for the jewel and then finally he got married to Jambavati also yes. right yes 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 and Satyabhama also so not only did he all the allegations were cleared he also got something more the blessings from it yeah, 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 yeah. okay okay so, so what would be the what would be can we uh, now say that how when the nakshatra will bring the blessings of its meaning yeah when exactly so the first thing here is that eighth lord so eighth house shows you know insult or you know, downfall or some, yes some something similar it's a dustana of yes yes malady malady mm -hmm. correct 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 either ways you call it it shows some kind of setback in life mm -hmm. so that means if the eighth lord is in rohini and Rohini Nakshatra has something to do with, you know, false allegations. Then this can be there with you. Now, if the eighth lord is in the third, it can, and uh, I mean, eighth lord is in the third in Rohini. Then it could be like somebody accuses you of signing some document which you never signed, right? <laughs> exactly. Interesting. Okay. Eighth lord Interesting. is in seventh, accusing you of like uh, doing something to your spouse which you didn't do. But mm -hmm. now here is the catch. You have to see the overall chart and find out, mm -hmm. <laughs> is it a true allegation or a false allegation? How to check that? <laughs> yeah, so for that I see like how the chart is, what's the strength of the chart. I see the ascendant lord, I see sun, moon, I see the trinal lords, the fifth exactly. lord, ninth lord. For qualities, no? if the I person see. has good qualities, if the lagna is strong, the satya is strong, fourth house purity, seventh house is meridu, how you deal with people, tenth house is tapasya. Yeah. So when the qualities are good, then, then we, we can know go. it's an allegation. Exactly. It's not that the person has done it, somebody has thrown that to the person. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then you know that, yes, it's like the same story of Lord Krishna, right? Something happening to you which you are not responsible, but then you come out of it, right? But uh, for allegation, it has to be Rohini, right? It, it's not, eight lord is not enough. It has to be eight lord in Rohini for allegation. Yeah, because Rohini has exactly. something to do with allegation. That's important. Right? That's so that's mm -hmm. the eight lord where, where it comes, right? Mm -hmm. So that also can answer the question, if eight lord is some kind of mishap, misfortune or problem, then we can see the nakshatra to understand more yeah. what is the nature of correct, the problem. Correct, no? correct. Because eight lord will give you some kind of, you know, it can give you some kind of mishap or something like that. So Will every, yeah. every, and now your eighth lord will be in a particular nakshatra, right? Exactly, exactly. So, like one, there was one other person who I had seen, uh, but yes, I can go on uh, with examples. Maybe you can also share your experience. Yes, yes. For uh, for allegation, what is important uh, to see uh, is the Rahu. Ah, okay. Uh, Rahu is the master <laughs> of scandals. And uh, we say that uh, we are going, now I'm going a little bit to Aruda Lagna. Uh, we say that when Rahu is uh, having some influence on Aruda Lagna, okay. then you will be accused. Oh, I see. You will be accused. And the nature of accusation is related to Rahu sign. Okay, I see. A nice right. example is uh, Clinton, of course. He has Aruda Lagna aspected by Rahu. Okay, so Rahu's aspect means the fifth and the ninth aspect. Uh, 
are here you take for this the Rasi Drishti we take. We're taking ah, okay. here the sign aspect. From Jaimini. Uh, oh. we, we don't call it Jaimini because we <laughs> yeah, believe yeah. that Jaimini and Parashara is one yes. tradition. I mean, it's we call more it Rasi known Drishti. on YouTube as you know Jaimini Drishti. Exactly, That's exactly. Yes, yes. I know, <laughs> I know it's popularized Jaimini as Jaimini. Drishti. Yes, <laughs> like Charakarakas are also yeah, uh, yeah, kare, seeing kare, kare. Uh, as Jaimini. But, yeah. but in Brihat Parashara Horashastra, you will find also Rasi Drishti. There is a chapter which is explaining Rasi Drishti. So this is also very much Parashara. And we say, now this is very interesting, uh, we can also know about the nature of the skanda. Oh, I see. This is very handy to see. And we are doing that by analyzing the sign of Rahu. Okay, I see. In Clinton case, Rahu is aspecting the Aruda Lagna, which is showing you will have a scandal. Oh. And Rahu is in the uh, sign of Libra. Ah, okay, something Libra, with Venus, females, sexual, yeah. natural, Sexuality, seven house. Yes, yes. So uh, that's there. That is there. Rahu is suspecting, and he had the scandal. So we can say if Rahu is only having a graha drishti, planetary ah, aspect, okay. okay, it will be only in that dasha of Rahu. Okay, planetary aspect in the fifth and the ninth, or, or second. Also we, are, we also take second. Okay. So that it's only in the in the time when the Rahu is aspecting. Okay, so when you say like the second aspect, do you mean the twelfth because it's retrograde? Uh, no, yeah, from we retrograde do. twelfth, so it's the second. Exactly this way. Ah, so wherever Rahu is second from that place. Uh, no, Rahu in twelve, so it will aspect every house in the second. So for example, if you have Aruda Lagna in fifth yeah. and Rahu in fourth. Yeah, yeah. Then the Rahu correct. is aspecting the fifth house by Graha Drishti. Correct, correct. But for Graha Drishti, it will be only in the Dasha, oh, only I see. in that time. But if you have Rasi Drishti, like Clinton, ah, okay. it can be for whole life. Basically, Aruda okay. Lagna means that what comes to your mind when your name is mentioned. Oh, I see. <laughs> so if someone say Clinton, the Levinsky, ah, okay, things are coming. <laughs> no? So the Aruda Lagna. Uh, so whenever by people Rahul. think of Clinton, they think of this kind of thing. Can be, can ah, be, okay. can be. So that's yeah. like your image is like molded into that. That is Aruda. Oh, okay, I see. Nah, so therefore uh, we are taking Rahu as, uh, as a scandal. For Rohini we are saying that Rohini's, Rohini is an elite, very elite nakshatra. Okay. We are taught in the tradition that whenever I see Rohini, for example, moon in Rokini, like Krishna, very good taste, very high uh, taste. Um, so basically, because the moon gets exalted, yeah, and uh, also it shows that this person can belong to some kind of elite class, to some special group, to some special family. It's always okay. that thing. And the same what you said, depending on the Lord, uh, that we can. If tenth Lord, it can be related to career life. If seven lord can be related to relationship or uh, whatever, so we are uh, basically using. But I have seen this very interesting. Uh, we are not using that. You are using a lot of nakshatra lord. Yeah, yeah. And also dispositor. This is the Krishna Murti uh, Padati system, or can you say? Yeah, I mean this is used in many places. Yes. And uh, of course, KP Ashlod uses it to the next level. I mean. Yes, yes. Like, <laughs> Dashas, <laughs> everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I have seen like. <coughs> The dispositors of the planets are also very important. Along with it, uh, the nakshatra lords also, they are like very important. You know? The dispositors will tell you uh, something has happened in your life. For example, if you, have, if you have a planet in 12th house. Like I had a chart. Uh, this person had Saturn in 12th house. And generally you will say, oh, Saturn in 12th, you know, this problem, that problem or whatever. Generally like... Uh, may, may not be the best placement you want, of course. But um, this person, I asked him, what happened during this time? He said, you know, I, I asked him, did you have a lot of losses? Then he had no, uh, he said, I didn't have losses, I had expenses. Mm, nice way. <laughs> then I said, okay, now what kind of expenses were there? So he said, you know, actually, uh, I had a business mm -hmm. and then I expanded my business. And from one place I went to like he had a restaurant and now he had expanded in Saturn Dasha to another restaurant. So he had to take loan and invest a lot of money in investment restaurant. loans. So then yeah. I saw what happened was uh, Saturn's dispositor, although Saturn was in the tenth house in the twelfth house, 
but the dispositor was actually in the tenth house so it it's showing that you are having some expenses but because the dispositor is in the tenth house and it, it was quite well placed if i remember that that means the expenses are on good accounts like you are trying to expand your business or something like that but imagine if this planet was badly placed or in another dusana maybe uh, or you know afflicted or something like this then it would mean that uh, your existing business is also going down what to speak of expansion you had one restaurant that is also on the verge of closing <laughs> yes you mean that uh, let's say saturn is in 12 and let's say that 12 lord would be in 8 right yeah or, or, or if it is very afflicted or, or very afflicted, yeah, yeah yeah not in a bad uh, okay. not, not in a good position then then i have seen it this working in some cases so that means that you have investment and losses but it's uh, so if, the, if you have a planet in 12 and the dispositor is well placed that means you have expenses in accounts of that good thing you know like sometimes yes. you see 12th lord is in 7 but it is in a good dignity so it's like uh, you have an expenditure for your wedding or for your you know business maybe you are having you know like a lot of businesses you know having you are having mergers and acquisitions and you know uh, groups of different businesses but if suppose that same 12th lord is in 7th but it is in a debilitated position then it can mean that you are doing it because it's in kendra but internally you are like dying you know dying or you feel very bad about yourself okay why am i doing this and mm. i wish i had not done this okay yeah so okay. it depends on the chart but this is what i have seen playing out so mm. yeah dispositors and nakshatras are very important i, mm -hmm. I and and what would be the difference between the uh, normal rasi dispositor and nakshatra dispositor do you have some uh, in your school or in your tradition of astrology could you say how they di different how they are different oh. the rasi you know rasi dispositor and nakshatra dispositor of that saturn yeah is so there some meaning you would see different or it's generally the same no no it's quite different so what what i have seen is like uh, the placement of a particular planet uh, will tell you externally what are the circumstances mm -hmm. so suppose you will always see charts you know where planets are in sixth house right and then we may feel that oh sixth house is not a nice house for marriage especially right yeah, yeah. it's not a good house right not good house yeah yeah definitely separation not good. celibacy definitely quarrels, not good for marriage not good <laughs> now i have seen so many charts like uh, the planet is in six and then i asked the person did you had some kind of a separation from the spouse and that person like he or she replies yeah yeah during the dasha of this planet there was some separation but i have seen if the nakshatra lord uh, is actually well placed like in the second house mm -hmm. or or in the like you know the 11th house sometimes or the 5th house or the 9th house then i have seen that the separation is not because of marital problems it's more of an external thing related to some work life or sometimes it happens somebody died in your family and your spouse is working and you leave temporarily for can one be. month you stay six, at the six home. house can work like this yeah i have yeah, seen that but if i have seen if the nakshatra lord is also badly placed then it is guaranteed 100 percent it is a marital discord you do not like each other if nakshatra lord is also badly placed yes, of that yes, sixth yes. house planet then then it shows you are having separation because the planet is in the sixth house yes but the reason for the separation is that there is a marital discord like once I had seen um, this person, his uh, planet was in sixth, uh, and the uh, Nakshatra Lord was in the third house in debility. So third house is miscommunication. <laughs> I mean, yes. if, if it's in debility, you know, it can yeah, yeah. be miscommunication something. So I have always seen this working, but yeah overall uh, but it also depends you know but just because there is a miscommunication or a planet is badly placed it doesn't mean you will have a divorce right yes so for that you have to see other placements so even when i am seeing that this works like this so don't think that this is all in all i would also like to ask you like we were disc we were about to discuss on arudha lagna and career so what what would you say like about arudha lagna and career like if somebody asks you how high will i rise in my life professionally or name fame like you have talked of arudha lagna so why not you can ex expand on that 
basically, even if we see Brihat Parashara Hora Shastra, there are shlokas which are saying that if you have Jupiter and Venus, there is that shloka. Okay. That if you have Jupiter and Venus in second from Aruda Lagna, it it can give you wealth, it can give you success, it can give you some kind of Raja Yoga. So okay. when we are when we are seeing when we are talking about influence or success or then it is Raja Yoga. Yeah, correct. It is at Raja the Yoga. End. At the so end. whatever whatever combination must be there it will be within that paradigm of oh, Raja Yoga. Okay. Huh? And when we were uh, learning Raja Yogas on the Jaimini course, then we've learned that this Raja Yoga can function on different levels. For example, you may have Raja Yoga when it comes to objects. Okay. For example, you can be master of some materials like glasses. You can be master, you can have big factory, there will be a lot of glasses and you will okay. be master of that. I see. Huh? So the Lordship, for example, if you have the, if you open Brihat Parashara Hora Shastra, the first Raja Yoga is called Maha Raja Yoga. It's when Lagna Lord is in fifth, and the fifth Lord is in Lagna. Parivartana Parashara says, "This is a Maha Raja Yoga. You are Maharaj." Ne? So this is when it comes to more about objects. Ne? But then also there are other Raja Yogas. You can, you may have Raja Yogas on the level of Karakas, on the level of Chara Karakas, and also on the level of Aruda. So Aruda, when you have Raja Yoga on Aruda level, it's very important about image. Uh, uh, how people it. perceive you. Yes. For example, fifth from Aruda Lagna is very important because it shows people who are supporting you. Ah, okay. Uh, I see. So fifth and nine from Aruda Lagna shows all those people who will either help you very much. Nine from Aruda Lagna will show if you have Ketu, then the Sadhus will help you. If you have Saturn, then elder people will help you. And fifth from Aruda Lagna will show all these people who are. Uh, who are uh, will vote for you? We could say. Oh, okay. Where are your followers? Fifth from Aruda yeah, is very yeah. important for yeah, that voters. because fifth house are your students, children, and especially from Aruda, it will show all these people who will vote for you. So that I is see. important to to check. Also, um, when we were talking about the Nakshatra Lord and Dispositor Lord, we are calling the Dispositor Anitya Karaka. Okay. In our tradition, there is a Nitya Karaka. This is like Venus is for marriage, Jupiter is for children, right. and so on. But we have also Anitya Karaka. Ani Nitya means, means eternal, Anitya means temporary. And basically, it means that this dispositor of the Lord will define the outcome and fruits or Correct. of whatever is done. Correct. Yeah? Correct. So, like you said, planet in the 12th house okay some karma is going on to either expenses or investments or losses correct but what is the final outcome yes. this is yes. this is what you were also talking this is the dispositor of that planet from the 12th house and a rasi dispositor we say is like a sun nakshatra dispositor is like a moon because nakshatras are visible in the night so the moon is loading the nakshatras therefore they have the sustenance factor if you want to see if the yoga in your chart will be sustained for a long time yeah. you may have raja yoga it may start well because the dispositor will be nicely placed but the nakshatra dispositor will say about the sustaining power oh i see so this is also how we use that so I therefore see. because it has that moon thing in it yeah, yeah we use it for sustenance because the moon is sustaining things oh, like feeding okay. the food yeah, yeah yeah and also it's about the mind so how people think also how the person is thinking about that uh, specific combination so i think in this way we see the raja yoga and for you need to have good aruda basically if your raja yoga is i would say on the front because, okay. for example, there are like in the IT, there are people who are working. How it's called in the back end? Yeah, back end. It's a yeah. back end yeah, and front, yeah, yes, right? Yes. So, for example, you can be a software developer. Yes. Who, no one will know you. You will yeah. be some small letters will be <laughs> written on the product. Yeah. But you will have big Raja Yoga. You will have patents. You will have money. You will have recognition. You will be famous only in the niche. You will be not okay. famous by all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, then yeah, it can start. mean that you have big Raja Yogas, but your Aruda may be a little bit. Oh, you are in the back okay. end, ah, right? Okay, I see. So Aruda always gives this big popularity, like the so front it's like end. Many followers. Yes, or many, many followers. You yes, least. yes. Your oh, face is basically a record recognized and uh, so that is the 
even I, I remember Sanjay just said, if your Aruda is afflicted or badly placed, then maybe you should keep the low profile. I see. Nice, nice way to okay. go about it. I see. Because if you uh, if you are going big, yeah, uh, yeah, it, it may be. Oh, of course, relatively big. It may. Yeah. If you are trying to go to the front end, yeah. open, maybe do an interview, and yeah. you have bad Aruda, then you are activating those grahas related to this Aruda. Okay, no? So I if see. they are afflicted, weak, badly placed, combusted, curses, then maybe it's better to uh, keep low profiles. That so. doesn't. But that doesn't prevent you from the Raj Yoga. Like you said, if somebody is in the back end. Exactly. But then different Raja Yoga. This. Ah, okay. No? So, in this way, we can also see what will happen when you will activate various yogas and also what type of Raja Yoga you have. Is it okay. based on the Lords, on the Karakas, on the Chara Karakas, how, okay. how this is, is there. For example, many people uh, are into astrology. Yes. But not many of them like our Babaji <laughs> like, <laughs> have, the, have the full soul in it, right? So to have a soul in astrology, you need to have your Atmakaraka somehow connected, there must be Raja Yoga or whatever Yoga. Raja Yoga is, is, is also not everyone must or not everyone needs or not everyone wants Raja Yoga. For example, many people, they want Jnana Yoga, they want knowledge. Okay. Yeah? So Raja Yoga is also, it, it's not that if you don't have Raja Yoga, it's bad. It's even for spirituality, we say that Raja Yoga is not good. Ah, okay. Yeah? It puts you more in the material. Exactly, circle. exactly. Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I think, said that um, if you are a king, it's not possible for you to get Mukti in this life. Okay. It's not possible. You need to wait for <laughs> for another life. Okay. Yeah? So so that also depends what you are basically doing, we could say. What you are, how, what you want. If you want knowledge, if you want uh, success and so on. So basically, um, if your soul is into astrology, you need to have like Atma Karaka involved. You need to have some uh, either Atma Karaka in, related, for example, to 11th house. This is a uh, Sanjay G is having that. Uh, Visti Larsen is you having say that. 11th house, what is the reason? Because 11th house is third from the ninth. In the ninth, we have the guru, the teacher, and uh, he is speaking, Parakrama. Ah, okay. So Parakrama can mean either fight in third house, also okay. can be either fight or it can be giving some advice. So if you are, if the Guru, which is in ninth house, he is giving the advice in the third from the ninth, which okay. is in the eleventh. Therefore, eleventh has this traditional um, vibe, we could say. Okay. And this is also the natural Aquarius. Yeah, Aquarius yeah. is very philosophical, very spirituality, I mean the astrology, the Jyotish, it has a lot of Aquarius uh, correct, correct. vibe. No? And 11th house is natural Aquarius. Correct. So um, in Sanjay chart, Saturn in 11th, VC Larsen, Rahu at Makaraka 11th Lord, in my case Mars is 11th Lord, with Jupiter at Makaraka in Navamsha, it can also be in Navamsha. So normally if you're uh, astrology or spirituality is on the soul level, you may also have malefics in Trikona to Atmakaraka in the Navamsha. Okay. And there is shloka for that in the Jaimini, which says that if you have malefics in first, fifth or ninth from Karakamsha, which is the Atmakaraka in the Navamsha, you will be very skilled in Mantra, Tantra and Yantra. So there is a oh. specific shloka for that. I and therefore, see. if people have this kind of yoga on the level of Atmakaraka, then we say, oh, you are not a fake. Oh, <laughs> you are okay. not just YouTube or Instagram astrologer.